be any fish the 9th of November 2017 and uh, I don't do too many of these I probably should but if people don't understand now what's going on as far as uh, what people refer to as chemtrails if you do not uh, buy into that or you don't care then please just hit pause and go somewhere else because you're part of the problem and I don't sit here and say that I personally go to Washington and blah 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 however everybody in my town including the town council knows about chemtrails and what they're doing and the reason that they are now saying that Congress is mulling over allowing these uh, cloud brightening projects to proceed is because enough of us have said something but what isn't really said about these chemtrails right now you got to understand they can do many different functions these you just have a different combination of particles and you can perform any manner of things with these uh, chemtrails through frequencies you can manipulate weather they've been doing this stuff for literally decades I mean a long time and they do it by spraying particulates into the atmosphere if you're one of the people that deny that they're doing this you know I, I actually feel sorry for you but you're part of the problem but now they're gonna put it before Congress because of course you know they start off their article higher temperatures are melting ice sheets faster than projected sea level is rising I'm really honestly I don't see or hear too much about sea level rising being any kind of uh, an issue a little bit here and there but you can't even really attest it to sea level rising but I digress this is not the point the point is they are spraying particulates in the skies everywhere and I personally know for a fact that the deeper darker purpose behind this is to literally take away the human ability to critically think and to come to know their creator and that's what it's for and not only that to dumb you down it's to in a sense prepare the earth for what's coming kind of like a uh, a primer if you will and now Congress you're gonna be able to point the finger at Congress and blame them and that we know how that always gets things moving right we always get uh, to the bottom of things through Congress think about it folks why why on earth do you think in the past let's just say 20 years that autism's up tens of thousands percent every form of cancer up tens of thousands percent every single thing that you can think of has gotten worse and what do they do they find more drugs and we fight autism and we fight cancer what about what is causing all of this think about it folks between this crap and fluoride and GMOs and glyphosates and vaccines let's not ever forget the vaccines because we know how much they love us and they always tell us the truth all the Harvard people all the congressmen they're just very distinguished and very honorable and my sarcasm is absolutely spot-on because they're liars and they're all just playing along to fill their pockets and get their little boys and girls they can diddle and to have their cars and their houses because they're demons you understand there's good and bad in this world and these folks have turned themselves over to the dark side because anyone who would allow this without critically thinking and, and fully understanding the situation we truly face here on earth other than reducing greenhouse gases which do nothing but control the population that's all it is and they're saturating you with chemicals and drugs 
to get you primed so that they can just plop you in front of a television and get what they want out of you before they have you for dinner. Because you'll just be another sheep herded to the slaughter. So, all I'm saying is, if you can't at least talk to your neighbors and your local uh, council people and whatnot about this stuff, then, man, I just don't... Uh, I want to just scream at you and call you names, but that's not how it works. I hope you come to understand that you are, in fact, a creation of a creator that literally put the breath of life into you, a soul. That's that little thing in your belly that you, you just get a glimpse of once in a while. If you don't already know Jesus, if you don't already know your creator, then this is designed to keep it that way, to keep you from knowing your creator. So you just go play with your iPhone and eat your Doritos and drink your Gatorade and watch your sitcoms and everything will be just fine. Seek Jesus. Peace and grace to you. Benny Fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 